Welcome to the tutorial on creating and managing file cabinets in DocMe. There is no limit to the number of file cabinets you can have in your DocMe system. It is suggested that you create different file cabinets for each new department, job function, or document type. The best way to decide when to share a cabinet with different files or to create a dedicated file cabinet is to look at how the files are to be indexed and organized. Files with the matching folder structure and index fields can be stored in the same file cabinet. Files that require different folder structures or different index fields should be kept in different file cabinets. There are two ways to get to the file cabinet management portal. From the home screen, click on the manage tile, then click file cabinets. Or from the file explorer, click on manage in the toolbar and select file cabinet. Whether you choose to access the management portal from the home screen or from the file explorer, you will always see a list of all file cabinets in the system. Each row in the list represents a different file cabinet. Here you will find the name of each file cabinet, the number of folder level index fields, the number of file level index fields, the date when the file cabinet was created, and a description of each cabinet. To create a new file cabinet, click the New File Cabinet button. Type the file cabinet name and a description. Click the OK button. The new cabinet will be added to the list of available file cabinets. By default, all new file cabinets are created with a document title index field, which controls the name displayed as the file name in the system. To add more index fields, find the new file cabinet in the list and click on the pencil button. Click the new index button. This will take you to the index form where you can fill out the field name and choose whether it should be a folder level or file level index field. Both field types allow you to search and find documents. The benefit of making a folder level index field is so that all documents added to that folder will automatically be indexed and searchable by the value in that field. It requires you to only index the folder once versus having to index each document individually. Choose the index field data type, either text, number, or date. Once you are finished, click the OK button. Once all index fields have been created, use the arrow buttons to reorder the display positioning of all index fields. The index field that is red is the field that will control the display name or file name of your files. Index fields with a date type cannot be used as a display name. To change the field that controls the display name of files, click the circle button under the set as display column for that field. To delete an index field, click on the trash can button within the same row as that index field. All changes made on this screen will automatically be saved. To get back to the list of all file cabinets, click on File Cabinets in the left panel. To delete a file cabinet, click on the Trash Can button within the same row as the file cabinet and confirm the deletion. If you have a lot of file cabinets inside DocMe, you can find the one you need by using the search bar. Select what you would like to filter by. All fields, file cabinet, number of folder index, number of file index, or description. The most common is to search by all fields. Type the value to look for and click on the search button. This list of file cabinets will be filtered to show only those that match your criteria. To see the list of all file cabinets, click on the clear button.